pounding, pounding, pounding in my chest and it makes it hard to breathe. It feels like somebody's like sitting on my chest. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You slip my world on fire. You slip Hi you guys, good morning, welcome back to another video. We are here in the office, which we usually aren't in here all the time because it has been so dirty these past few months since we moved in, but it is so clean now, like there's nothing on the floor. My desk is like finally workable at. So this has become one of my favorite rooms, just having lots of natural light and just like being able to work. Today is Sunday, so happy Sunday, which means at our house that we have people over for football every Sunday. Ben bought this like Sunday ticket thing so he can watch all of the football games on Sunday and so we have a bunch of people over on Sunday to watch all the football games with us so that's what Ben's doing out there. I am in here just scheduling out our week and everything that we will be doing this week. We thought we were going to be gone this weekend. We had a trip planned this weekend to go up to Aspen and to stay up there, take pictures of the tree change and then come back but I think we might go midweek this week or something. I don't know when we're going to go, but since it's been so warm here in Colorado, warmer, I feel like there's been a few cold days, but it's been relatively warm. The trees haven't changed very much. They said that 5% of the trees have changed. So that would be no fun to drive all the way up there and have no tree change. So our plans are canceled for that trip. We are not going this weekend. <laughs> What's your name? What's your name? A. A. Oh my goodness. We used to not let the girls in here because it was so dirty and we had so much stuff out. But now that it's clean, we can actually let them in here. No, no, no. Except for it. And the doors need to be surprised because there's like glue and scissors in there. No, no. No, no. Go put that back, please. Put that back. Do we not? Did we forget how to speak English? Put that back, please. I've been keeping up actually super well with my planner. I, I filled up pretty much the entire month of December or September. I didn't. You need more? More what? Here. Here. That's the last one you get, okay? <laughs> She's drawing on the carpet or like on a piece of paper on the carpet. But anyways, pretty much the whole month of September, I've kept up with everything. And hopefully that'll continue because it's like super satisfying to go back and look at like all the pages that are filled. So anyways, I have this book. No, that's it. Those are the ones that you have. Poke holes in it. Poke, poke, poke. No, you can, you have those pens right there. I said no more. I actually got this last year. Bye. And it's like a little teaching thing that I put like all of Ella's school stuff in or like what I wanna do in a week for school for her. Even though it's nothing too like serious, I just want to be able to like write it down and like have like a little schedule for her as well. Hi, Hi. I was actually starting gymnastics this week, which is super, super exciting. Okay, go ask. Go ask for apple juice. You'll be right back? Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Since Ben is like occupied with football stuff today, like I said, I was writing out like our plan for the week. We don't have any like arts and crafty stuff and I wanna do like more arts and instead of just having the girls draw like they normally do, just do more like molding clay or I don't know, just more activities so they're not doing the same things every day. So I'm going to head to Michael's. I think it's open today because it's Sunday. Okay, it's open, so that's good. Is We're gonna, it open? It's open. And this week on Friday, it will be October 1st. I decided to take the truck because Ben is watching football, so I get to take the truck and the little girls. So let's go to Michael's.
finished at my goals I got a lot of stuff which I'll show you guys when I get home but I'm quickly going to stop by Sephora I actually need some more like eyebrow products and the only like high-end makeup that I get that's like that you can only get from Sephora is the Anastasia like dip brow I need to go in and get some more I think the one that I've had I've had for like over a year or something like that or way longer than that so it's like all dried out I've already put oil in it to try and make it like pasty again but it's not working anymore so who wants to run into the makeup store <coughs> Avi do you want to stay here in the car or you want to go to the makeup store <laughs> the makeup store airplane. <laughs> airplane okay let's go okay I made it back home alive a lot well I had to take both of them into Sephora it was a lot but it's fine um, so it's Sephora. I just, this is what I use for my eyebrows. It's the dip brow stuff. And then each time I go, I get a new brush because mine gets like so gross. And like I said, I've had it for like over a year. So got a new one. And then I'll show you guys what I got for the girls. I didn't get a lot of things because I feel like I don't have very much. And especially if we're homeschooling, I want to have a bunch of stuff. Not that they're going to all do this week, but just like over time. So I bought these for Avi. I have actually never seen these before, but it's like a painting stick. So when Ella's painting, um, she can use like, she can use this like painting stick. And then we got some neon washable paint, colored construction paper. We got some paint brushes. We got this little like 3D ceramic painting kit that we can do one day. And then I got a few different modeling clays which i will show you guys but ella picked out the pink one of course but i got like five of these i think instead of like the neon coloring paint i got the regular i got two of these ceramic pumpkins i want to do this on like october 1st do like pumpkin painting or maybe we'll do something like different like pumpkin carving i just got another one for ave another modeling clay in purple this was the first thing that i saw that i picked up it's they can make these fun little animal masks. I think it would be fun one day. They're like just little foam masks and they can like play with them after they make them. And then, like I said, more modeling play. And then I got them these little wooden letters. A for Avery, E for Ella, that they can color or paint one day. And then I got them both a white shirt to put on while they are painting that is everything that i got i'm gonna spread it out over weeks worth of activities so yeah i'm gonna go hide these in the office before they they're playing really nicely right now so before they figure all this stuff out we're gonna go put it in the office i wasn't going to do any activities today but they think we're just too excited after they got their all of their activities so we're gonna try out these little wiki sticks and i'm just worried that they're not washable so we have their shirts on and i also put down like extra um no 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 you need to be patient extra paper down under their underneath your pink papers okay so what color do you want to start with ella here um, keep your paper down pink okay i'm sorry i think i don't even know how these things pink. work let's see there was oh here here you go you want red Ooh, and you paint and draw with it. Oh, it looks like a crayon material, but it's called solid paint. So you just kind of roll them up like a glue stick. Oh. Look, can I write Avi on your paper? Ready? Oh, this feels weird. Avery. Good job. That matches the paper. That does match the paper.
Okay, you guys, things have kind of turned for the worse for me. I don't know why this keeps happening every single night, pretty much. Right around this time, it happens um, where I'll start having some heart problems. And um, I'll just have like a hard time just doing anything and it's just very, I don't even know how to explain it. But basically what happens is my heart will start beating really fast and very, not just very fast, but like very forcefully it will beat. And it's very uncomfortable, especially in like the top half of my body, all in my neck where I have like big arteries. It's very uncomfortable. In my chest, it is very uncomfortable because it just like, it's just pounding 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 in my chest and it makes it hard to breathe it feels like somebody's like sitting on my chest um and i can't like take a breath i know i'm gonna be okay and this will go away but i just don't know why this keeps happening every single night it's honestly just getting worse like the more pregnant i get but the girls and i were drawing and then i just asked ben to i was planning on giving them a bath but i asked ben to give them a bath because i was having a hard time and even like right now I probably wouldn't be able to show it to you guys, but like as I'm breathing, my belly, there's like a big artery that runs in your, down like the center of you and it, my belly is just like, it's just, you can see my heartbeat in my stomach. And I don't know if you can see, but you can see it in either right here or right here. You can usually see it. You can kind of see it in like my throat area. It's beating very intensely and it just is so uncomfortable for me. And then I'll also get palpitations where my heart will skip a beat and then it'll like beat really like a really, I don't even know how to describe it. So it'll like not beat and then it'll beat like worth what two beats would be worth since it skipped one. So it's like a rush of blood if that makes sense and so that is really uncomfortable as well it's getting worse the more pregnant i am and thankfully i brought it up to my doctor but i brought it up to her i think my last appointment was like at the end of last week my doctor referred me to a cardiologist if you guys missed that my doctor i told my doctor about this she was referring me to a cardiologist and the cardiologist should be calling me this week so i'm really excited about that i do want to get some answers i have had i was talking to my dad about it i've had it since i was like 16 and it's never been this bad before except for probably at the very very beginning and it's just hard to control right now which i typically can control so I don't know if I'm going to be having, I'll, I'll probably have to be put on some medication to help regulate it because I can't do it myself right now. Like I can't do just your at home stuff, which is typically like rest, drinking a lot of fluids, like electrolytes and stuff like that. I just can't do this anymore. It's so uncomfortable. I had a horrible episode. It was like two nights ago where I could barely breathe, but I, I just don't know what was happening, but I could barely breathe. I was this close to like calling someone or like going in because I was having such a hard time. It's, it's kind of hard to explain and I would show you guys. I don't even know what my heart rate is at right now. It's about like 130 just sitting here i've been sitting here for the past probably 30 45 minutes in my heartbeat sitting down right now is at about 130 i just can't even like explain how it feels it's just so uncomfortable like it's not painful it's it's very uncomfortable like for all of my inside i'm just hoping that i i don't think it does i'm just hoping this doesn't affect the baby in any sort of way and that she's okay and that she doesn't like have any distress with how my heart rate is that's all i'm hoping okay you guys it's been like an hour i still feel so terrible so i think i'm gonna go to sleep it's only eight o'clock well it's like 8 30 but i think i'm gonna try and go to sleep because normally right now that's the only thing that's like helping me and i just feel so terrible so i'm gonna go to sleep Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Follow us on all the social medias down below. And we'll see you in our next video. Thanks. You set my world on fire You're my heart's desire